we on, we on. Um, hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm on today to show you something that um, me and my sons have done. Uh, my eldest and my youngest son um, had a little bit of a play the other day uh, with some clay. Uh, this is air drying clay. I've never played with clay before in my life. Um, maybe at school when I was little, maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, we had a we had a little play. Uh, the first thing my son made was <laughs> um, yeah. Let's just say man's bits. <laughs> Obviously. Um, uh, He's a he's a boy. Well, he's he's a man. He's he's twenty four this year, and the first thing he makes is a man that you know man's bit. <laughs> um, I said I'm not touching that. I'm not painting it. You do it yourself. Um, so uh, he made some other bits, and I'm just going to show you. Um, he made this. Uh, can't see what it is at the moment. Um, he said it's a volcano and he's made it to put, um, do you know the little incense cones that you get? Um, he's made that to put the cones inside and I said I will paint that and I'll make it look like a volcano. He sa I said to him don't blame me if it comes out purple. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's, he's left me with it. That I'll, I'll do my best with that. So made that. Um, then my youngest son, who was um and iron for a little bit, whether or not to take part in actually getting his fingers dirty and you know making something. Um, so <laughs> he decided to make something, and he made a pair of legs. Yeah, it's a pair of legs. I think it's a pair of legs. I don't know. It could be the end from pair of pliers or I don't know some fingers or something unfortunately we had a little bit of an accident and it lost a leg <laughs> and he's not too bothered by it anyway so that's that's a good thing uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and mend that the best I can so that's for my son um, oh yeah um, my eldest, he, he's, he's, he's fascinated by um, old knives and, you know, the history of things. And he wanted to make this. Unfortunately, it broke in half. Um, but I will try my best to put it back together again. Um, and he wants it to look like... It's that way, isn't it? And he wants it to look like... Um, like a... An Indian knife, you know, like um, like the Sioux Indians or something. He wants me to put beads and bits of leather and, and feathers all over it and make it look like an old knife. Um, so I said, I will, I, I will, <laughs> I will try my best at that. Um, so yeah, he made that as well. And um, I had to go. And can you guess what I made? Well. <laughs> I made a butterfly, obviously, and its head fell off. <laughs> so I'm going to have to stick the head back on. But yeah, that that's my that's my butterfly. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and then I made a flower, and it stayed together. How cute is that? That is beautiful. Gorgeous flower. So, yeah, I'm so glad it didn't. None of the petals fell off or anything. Uh, the back doesn't look too, too nice. <laughs> but I think um, I'm going to, I might sand it down. Or I might just leave it because you're not really going to be looking at the back. Are you? I don't even know what I'm using these for yet. Um, so there's that. Very pretty. Um, so what I thought to do is I'm going to, uh, put some gesso on. I've got some. I've got some black gesso here. Heavy, heavy gesso by uh, Finnabar Art Basics. So I'm going to use that 
on the volcano thing and the knife thing. Um, and I'm going to use um, white gesso. Um, Pebiot got a heavy. It's a big, big tub. It is a litre of white gesso by Pebiot. So I'm going to use that and we're just going to give him a coat. Um, so when I come to paint them, I know that the, the colours that, go, uh, that are going on them are going to be true colours. Uh, so I think we'll start with the knife. Um, I've got my paintbrushes. I'm going to use this big paintbrush. This is a, a one inch paintbrush. Um, I'm going to use the black first. And I'm just going to put the, the gesso onto the knife. Well, the handle of the knife. And I'm just going to paint it. I tell you what, I'll, I'll move my blue mat out of the way. Um, and I'm just going to paint it. Um, like I said, I've never never worked with clay before. Um, and, you know, if anybody can give me some tips on, you know, how I stop it from um, breaking, you know, cracking. Um, my son did look up look it up and it says that you can put it in the oven but I thought well it's air drying clay so shouldn't it be out in the air so I didn't put mine in the oven not all of them went in the oven um, I think this knife and my son's man bits that he made uh, went into the oven um, so yeah I'd, I'm, I'm just not sure you know how you're supposed to store them while they're drying is there is there a particular way to put them like somewhere to put them while they are drying um please let me know your thoughts uh let's see what i'm doing wrong with it i'm just gonna put this onto the brush um give it a good coating like this I like this I think that's that bit done and this gesso dries very quickly which I'm pleased about um, so I think I'll do this one on camera because uh, all I'm going to do is give him a, a, a liberal coat of gesso um, and then once I've done that, I will, um, come back on, sorry, just need a little bit more, oops, a bit too much, um, I will come back on, um, and I will show you all the bits I've painted, okay, I just hope I can stick them back on, <laughs> oops wasn't quite dry on that bit there we go right let's put that there okay finish this off and then I will go off camera and I will do the rest because I don't think you want to uh, watch me just painting gesso and things um, yeah <laughs> right I'm gonna go off and I'll be back see you in a second Sorry, hello everybody. Um, just trying to set out my camera. Right, okay. I think that's it, right. I'm back. Um, as you can see, it's all paint. It's still a little bit wet in places, um, but I think that's okay. So I'm gonna get started with this first. Um, and I've got a plethora of paints. I've got acrylics, I've got loads of acrylics. Um, I've got my metallics, I've got all my metallic paints, uh, so there's them, and I've also brought in my my few little watercolours I've got, uh, and I will probably use some sprays and glosses and, and things like that, just to get the effect that I want. Right, 
okay so I think we'll leave the blade bit first yeah and we'll do the handle now he's put little lines in it I don't know if you can see like the texture he's put in um, but it's like wood so I'm guessing it's going to be wood effect so I've got that brown I need to top up on my acrylics I think that brown just what have we got burnt sienna burnt umber oh, what is this one i want a dark brown and i don't think i've got a dark brown no i haven't what's this one yellow orca might be a good color to mix with um oh, what's that crimson red hmm, yeah Okay, so I have my colours. I'm not too sure whether or not these are going to uh, work. So what I think I'll do first is start with a lighter colour. Oh, God, that was hard to get off there. Mm, right, I'm going to move my other bits out of the way. I've done... Oh, no, the leg's broken. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I hope it doesn't break anymore. I'm just going to move them over. I've done like the legs and the flower and the butterfly all in white. White um, white gesso. Uh, oh dear. Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put, if, I, if, if there's any left, right. Oh, scoochie. Um, I'm going to put a bit of that brown in. A bit of the dark brown. Yeah, I've had these quite a while, these. I've got these off my my friend, Dawn, my best friend, Dawn. Um, so, some paints go all, like, I don't know, is it, um, it's too much there, like, but, um, what, is it, is it, called, is it curdling? Is that what it does? And it goes all bitty and just not, doesn't look very nice. Um, but these seem to have lasted. I don't know how long she had them for. Um, but, yeah, right. <sighs> Get on with it. Right, so I'm just going to paint it. Okay. Just maybe not a complete coverage. Just like, so I'm putting my fingers all in it as well. I'm going to be covered in paint. Yeah. I'm going to look like a piece of wood <laughs> um, and I'm just going to mix it while it's wet um, and just mix the colours in uh, just to get that wood handle look if I can. Um, I know how things should look um, but whether or not they actually look like they're supposed to when I'm finished with them, I don't know. Like that. Let's add a little bit more of this in. I'm just going to rub it and see what effect I get when I do this. Yes, that's quite nice. It's rubbing into the black because the black's not quite not quite dry and it's actually drying it as well and some of the paint has gone into the little grooves so it's given that depth look like the the effect of depth quite like that should we try with a little bit of red just in just in places now, i don't want this to look like blood or, or anything like that i'm just going for the texture of wood and I, it's like some wood has um, red pigments in it. Um, I quite like the look of that. And let's have a little bit of the orca, the yellow. Just so I'm using my finger. I love using my fingers when it comes to things like this. Um, just getting messy and yeah, it, it it's it, it makes you feel for. It gives you the feel of what you're doing. And it just connects you with your, your, your bit of art, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Am I talking a load of twaddle? 
<laughs> Am I making sense to anybody? I don't know. <laughs> um, but I make sense to myself. So I'm just going to put a bit at the top here. Maybe a little bit of a little bit of dark brown at the top. So it's the is it the hilt of the the knife? Is, is, is that what it's called? Or am I just waffling and yeah? <laughs> a little bit of red there and see. Just dot it. Just dot it. You see I'm not washing my, my brush after each um you know go I'm just going into each colour just to get the the effect. I'm just gonna dot now. I'm gonna put the paint on and I'm just gonna dot about and see what happens with that. Um I mean I am liking the way this looks. Um I've got some um some acrylic sprays I think uh I'm gonna. I've, I've got a brown one. I'll, I'll get it in a minute. I can't remember what it's called, um, and that will give. Uh, just a bit of this. I'm just gonna dab it. See if I can go around. You know, like the inside of a a log or something. See if that works at all. Probably won't, but I can. But try. Yeah. That's okay. Just wanna give it a little bit more dabbing on. Um, I mean, I do like the way that looks. I don't know if it's showing. I mean, at the moment, it looks like a turd. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm hoping. That you know the effects that I've got are, are, are going to be that you know it does look like the handle of a knife. Um, <laughs> just a dead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right, let's just carry on, eh? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Just gonna dot that. I think it needs a bit more darker brown here. Just stick my fingers in now, give up with a brush. <laughs> Oops, stuck my finger in the red. I mean, I have got um, some wipes off to the side of me, um, but yeah, <laughs> painted myself. It's all about having fun, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my spray. Um, that's it. It's called Walnut Flat Matte Spray. Let's give it a share, and I'll give it a spray. Let's just move. The, the metallics out of the way move all these over here so I'm not spraying um, these these are from that's crafty that's crafty um, might not do anything um, I'm, I'm not sure oh dear I've got a bit of white there Let's just rub it in That could be a happy accident. A little bit of white. Okay, right, I'm just going to leave it off to the side because at the moment it does look like a poo. Um, dab this. Now, these are my drop sheets for when I do get messy and yeah. I just love all the different types of paint and the textures that's gone on them and I will be using these for something in the future um, but at the moment I'm doing this right and we're gonna let's wash my brush and I'm going to use my metallics for the knife the the, the blade 
bits and I've got these two which is metallic silver I don't know a metallic anthracite um, I'm just not sure uh, yeah but yeah I've got them so I'm gonna start with the darker I don't know if that's the right thing to do starting with a darker color and going with a lighter or go light and then go darker I don't know I'm just going with the flow going with the feeling of yeah I'm just gonna put it on and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a bloody look <laughs> a bloody look right, I'm just gonna do one side first and then if I like this side I'll repeat it onto the other side and these metallics dry very very quickly um, so yeah right so we've got that and then I'm not going to put this onto there. Um, I'm just going to wipe my brush, the excess off onto my paper. I don't want any extra water on this. Like that. And I'm just going to go around these edges just to give that illusion that, you know, it's the edge of the blade. If I get it right, awesome. If I don't, then never mind. It doesn't matter, does it? Do your best. And I'm having fun anywhere. So, I mean, I, I, I love playing with paints and, you know, just experimenting with things, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, and it's uh, the middle bit, the, the, the little thing in the middle, I don't know, I don't really know much about knives, um, just know they're sharp. <laughs> um, so do this, I mean does that look like a sharp knife to you? Um, I might put some uh, luster spray on. I've got silver luster spray, but I will wait until this dries just in case it, you know, it mixes in with the metallic and I don't want it to. I want it to sit on top. Um, but we will see what it all ends up like if it looks a mess then. <laughs> At least I can say, I will have tried. Uh, I don't know. What does that look like? Am I just making it worse by doing all these bush strokes? Um, I'm not sure. Right, okay. I'm going to let that dry. Um, and I will be back. I won't be a second. Hello, I'm back. Um... God, that took longer than what I thought it would. Um, in the middle of doing this, I had to go and see in my cats. Um, my my cat Jethro can open doors, so he'd open the doors and let the other cats in, which is not a good thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, but what I've ended up is that's the the first one that I like the first side that I started, and I wasn't quite happy with just the uh, silver. So what I've done is I've added some silver luster spray and I've added some of that walnut um, and I also went over it with some uh, metallic bronze and I think I'm going to add a bit more metallic bronze. Um, so I've done the same to that side. Uh, these are like a little hue of like pinkish type color and you can't see really see it on the camera but it's there um so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to well, already got some um i'm just going to again use my finger my fingers look at the state of them <laughs> it's fun though isn't it who else likes getting dirty with paints i love it really do right this 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 type of crafting 
um, is, you know, this is right up my, my alley, right up my street, this, this type of crafting. Um, I do like paper crafting. Um, I enjoy paper crafting, but I love creating something. Um, and I think this is just, yeah, I love it. Really do. I'm just going to add a little bit of silver to the tip there. A bit too much, but we can blend it in and wipe it off. Um, yeah, I love it. I think it looks beautiful. Who's with me? <laughs> oh, I just made uh, a complete dog's dinner of it. Uh, tell me what you think. <laughs> um, yeah, I like it. I like it. And I did use my um, heat gun. Uh, to dry it a little bit because I did want to try and get some bubbling effect um, but for some reason I did I got a few bits here and there um, but I didn't I didn't really get what like the effect or anything um, but it's okay it looks good I'm just mixing my bronze and my silver together now just to create the edge of the the blade bit of uh, bronze I think that looks quite nice. I quite like that. I think uh, my son is going to be chuffed to bits with that. Yeah. Um, and also what I've done uh, while I was off camera is I added a little bit of bronze to the handle. Um, and I think it looks okay. I think it's alright. Um, and now I'm going to try and fit it in somehow. Oh no! Oh, look what I've done! Oh, <laughs> like plastic. Oh, sh shoot! Oh, well, that didn't end well, did it? Oh, that's not very good at all. I think because I heated it up, I softened the clay a little bit. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to be able to rectify that. I might, do you think? I mean, it's, it's held together with the paint because I put so much paint on it. Um, ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I wonder if I can rectify it. Maybe put a little bit of hot glue in there. Yeah. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, right. We'll just leave that to the side. Can you tell it's my first time working with Claire? Look at Look what I've done. Look what I've done. I've destroyed all that work. Oh, dear me. I think I need to go away. I have a head scratch. And, um, yeah. Oh, I'm disappointed in that. You silly girl, Claire. Oh, dear. Uh, I had fun painting it, though. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to tell my son. If I fix it, I fix it. If I don't, I don't. Um, oh, I'm gutted. <laughs> oh, my ass just fell out. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, I meant to say my heart just fell out, not my ass. Oh, this is a terrible video, isn't it? I don't even know if I'm going to put this video up yet. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it there because I'm not having the best of times with this, am I? Oh, it was going so well. Maybe you can make another one. I've got some more clay there. Um, and maybe you can try and make another one. And then he can decorate it. And then I won't get the blame for breaking such a beautiful blade. Oh, okay. I've made a beautiful mess. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to touch the other, the other clay bits until I understand more about the clay. Um, and how to treat it, how to handle it, whether or not to, obviously not to heat it up with a heat gun because uh, it will soften the clay. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to touch the other clay bits. I'm going to leave them as they are for now. I'm going to put them to, to one side and do a lot of research, a lot of practice and a lot of experiments because I do not want this to happen again. Um, I'm truly gutted. But you learn from your mistakes. Uh, not just in crafting, in everything. 
what can I say? Um, okay, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will understand if you give me thumbs down. Mm. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, yeah. <laughs> If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Um, I will see you in the next video. It won't be a clear one. <laughs> I think I'll stick to uh, paper crafts and things like that for now. Um, yeah. So, bye. Bye for now. <laughs>